Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we'll be talking about keratoconus. As the name suggests, kerito it means cornea and conus means conical. Hence, keratoconus it is a condition in which the person has a conical cornea. According to the definition, keratoconus it is a progressive non-inflammatory bilateral ectatic condition of the cornea occurring in its axial part. It starts at puberty and it progresses slowly. Here, ectasia or ectatic, it refers to the uh, dilatation or distension of a tubular structure. This is a diagrammatic representation of keratoconus and here we can see that the shape of the cornea is cone shaped. The etiopathogenesis of keratoconus is still not clear but various theories which have been proposed so far has labeled it as a developmental condition or degenerative condition, hereditary dystrophy or an endocrine anomaly. Pathological changes. Here, there occurs defective synthesis of mucopolysaccharide and collagen tissue, and this results in progressive thinning of the cornea with ectasia. The keratoconus, it is of three types on the basis of the size and shape of the cone. Nipple cone. Uh, a nipple cone, it is a cone in which uh, the size is less than 5 mm and has a steep curvature. A uh, cone is said to be oval when the size is 5 to 6 mm and it is ellipsoid in shape. And the globus cone is the largest in which there is the size is more than 6 mm and it is globe like. The keratoconus it can be associated with various ocular conditions and various systemic conditions. The ocular conditions in which uh, can be associated with keratoconus is congenital cataract, ectopia lentis, aniridia, retinitis pigmentosa, atopic keratoconjunctivitis, and vernal keratoconjunctivitis. The systemic conditions in which is associated with keratoconus is Marfan syndrome, atopy, eczema, asthma, hay fever, Down syndrome, osteogenesis imperfecta, and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome. Clinical features. Talking about the symptoms, the person initially has a defective vision which occurs due to progressive myopia and astigmatism. And this defective vision is not corrected fully even with the full correction of the glasses. And uh, with the passing time, the vision becomes more blurred and is associated with glare, halos around the light, light sensitivity, and ocular irritation. Ultimately, visual loss occurs primarily due to progressive astigmatism and myopia and secondarily due to corneal scarring. The hallmark of a keratoconus is the central or paracentral corneal stromal thinning, apical protrusion of anterior cornea, and irregular astigmatism. On examination, following signs are seen. Window reflex test. Here, the person or the patient is asked to sit in front of the window and the minified image of the uh, window formed by the cornea is seen. In normal cornea, the image formed is uniform and regular, whereas in person suffering from the keratoconus, the image is distorted. For placidose disc examination, we need is a placidose disc. Here you can see that this is a placidose disc and here there is alternating white and black circles. In the center there is a hole and this disc is used uh, to assess the smoothness and the curvature of the corneal surface. Normally looking via a hole in the center of the disc, a uniform sharp image of the circles is seen in the cornea. While in irregularities of the corneal surface, as in keratoconus, there is distortion of the circles. Here, uh, the, this is the image which is formed in normal cornea, whereas this is formed in uh, irregular corneal surface. In slit lamp examination, there is thinning and ectasia of the central cornea. The apex has obesity. The base of the cone, it has fissures ring. There are folds in the desmids and the Bowman's membrane and Vogt's line may be seen. These are very fine, deep vertical stromal lines which disappear when the external pressure is applied on the globe. In distant direct microscopy, their annular dark shadow are seen which are due to the total internal reflection of the light and this dark shadow it separates the central and the peripheral areas of the cornea which is old droplet reflex. In retinoscopy, uh, Caesar reflex is seen and uh, ob oblique or the irregular astigmatism is also obtained. 
and the keratometry is done to find the grade of the keratoconus the normal keratometric value is 45 diopter but uh, here in keratoconus the keratometric values is increased and it is graded as mild moderate and severe it is graded as mild when the uh, keratometric value is less than 48 diopter when it is 48 to 45 diopter it is termed as moderate keratoconus and it is termed as severe keratoconus when the keratometric values is more than 54 diopter. Corneal topography it is the most sensitive method to detect the early keratoconus. Uh, the corneal topography it refers to the study of the uh, shape of the cornea and form frost it is an earliest subclinical form. Monsoon sign it is seen in late stage. This is the figure showing monsoon sign. Here, there is localized bulging of the lower eyelid when the patient looks downward. The most important complication of uh, the keratoconus, it is acute high drops. And this occurs due to the rupture of the Desmet's membrane. And it is characterized by sudden development of corneal edema, which is associated with marked defective vision, lactimation, photophobia, and pain. The treatment for keratoconus is uh, the use of spectacle correction. Uh, it improves the vision in the early case and it is not useful in the later course of the disease uh, where the vision loss it occurs due to progressive astigmatism. The contact lens can also be used in the early case to improve the vision and there is a special type of contact lens known as the scleral contact lens which can be used in early to moderate case. Intax or intracorneal ring segments can also be used in early to moderate cases and it works by its flattening effect. To slow the progression of the disease, the corneal collagen cross-linking with riboflavin can be done. And in the later stages, keratoplasty can be done. Keratoplasty uh, or uh, corneal uh, transplantation can be done. And here, uh, either penetrating keratoplasty can be performed or lamellar keratoplasty can be performed, which is deep anterior lamellar, lamellar keratoplasty. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.